If there's one recipe that we all associate with comfort, it would have to be chicken noodle soup. So I'm gonna show you how to make it from scratch using a whole chicken. So you need to get your hands on a stock pot just like this, big enough to fit the whole chicken, vegetables, the noodles, and of course the stock. So with our chicken, I've got a lovely free range chicken here. We wanna open it up, put the whole chicken into the pot, along with three litres of chicken stock. Now, I'm using chicken stock here, but you don't have to. You can actually use all water. The only reason I like to add the chicken stock and water is because I love an intense chicken flavour. So we need to cover that with the remainder of the water here. Perfect. And now we need to bring this to the boil. Once it's come to the boil, you'll actually see some impurities coming to the surface. Then we'll start to skim the surface. Once it's completely clear, we'll start adding our vegetables. to the boil now and I've removed most of the impurities. This is really important to ensure that we get a really nice clear chicken soup. So once it looks like this we can start adding our veggies. I've got lots of veggies here, two carrots to start with and I'm going to cut them into three chunky pieces just like that. I have one leek. With the leeks ensure that you give them a really good wash between all the leaves there because they do attract a lot of soil and I've also got some celery. So three stalks of celery. I'm just going to cut them in half. I've also got one onion that I'll cut in half and then they can all go in. So it's going to be quite full in this stock pot so you need a large one like I said before. In goes the leek with all the little bits of carrot the celery pieces, try to squish it in there. And this onion I'll actually cut into four pieces so everything fits nice and snug. Perfect. I've also got some garlic here and I'm just going just to bruise half a bulb of garlic and that can go straight in just like that, skin and all. I've got a few peppercorns one bay leaf and a good amount of thyme. I love the addition of thyme to this. So that can go straight in there. Lid goes on now and we just want to allow this to bubble away for about an hour and a half and just you wait. The whole place is going to smell like amazing chicken soup. help but smile. It smells so good in here. And all the vegetables are cooked. They're really soft now. I can smell the bay leaf and the thyme. So now it is time to take out all these vegetables just with this spider here. Very carefully remove them. In actual fact, you don't have to be careful because what I'm going to do is actually roughly chop all these vegetables to place back into the soup once we've taken all the meat off the chicken carcass. So just take out as many as you can at this stage, just like that. Look how good that leek looks. I love leek when it's cooked so slowly. It turns into something magnificent. It's actually really sweet. And now for the chicken, we'll just grab him with this spider again and take him out. Just drain most of it. It will fall apart, that's fine. We'll take him out, put him in the tray also. Now we do want to allow this to cool down just slightly so we can separate the meat from all of the skin and the bones. I'll also chop up all those vegetables to put back into this stock. Also, another very important thing, we need to season this with a good pinch of salt. Once that's cooled down and we've removed all the meat and chopped up all the vegetables, I'll return it back to the stock along with the vermicelli noodles and we'll cook it for another five minutes and then our soup is ready. Now it's time to bring the whole soup together. So I've got some vermicelli noodles here. These are going to take moments to cook, three, between three and five minutes. So I'm going to put, oh, let's say three nests in, just like that. We can also add our veggies back to the broth now. So just very carefully, just pour all that in and give that a really good stir. 
The vermicelli noodles are ready, so all I need to do is add our chicken. You can see that I've just finely shredded it and I've ensured that there are no bones anywhere in there. So in it goes. You can see how much chicken you get off that one carcass. So this soup will actually feed a whole family plus give you some leftovers, which is always nice to know. So we just warm that chicken up in the broth there and I always have to have a big bowl of soup for this. So we'll just scoop all of that. Look at that. How wholesome does this look? Straight in there. Lots of noodles, all those veggies, the chicken, of course. And the most important part is the broth. I just love it. I always make sure that I have a good two or three ladlefuls of this. Look at the colour of that. That is spectacular. I have to have a taste, of course, even if it's piping hot. the world's best soup. You know, if you're happy, if you're sad, if you're sick, well, chicken soup will fix everything.